Okay, now. Dolce & Gabbana Fall Winter Men's 2023. This is very similar to the Dolce & Gabbana Women's. They had the Kim K... Um, what is it? Kim K appearance. Let's get it. It's definitely giving me smoke and mirrors. What? He look like he's going to a man. Like, walk. Please. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, that's the third one. The second one is still all black. Boring. Um. Okay, this third one is um kind of like a cape coating, very Dracula, I guess. And it's like uh, the four point. I'm seeing this trend come alive with the hip on the men's suits. Um, I saw it in the Balenciaga show. Um, that was a pretty popular show. I have to say that it's growing on me, especially the fact that he's got the buttoned up collar all the way to the top with the suit jacket. That's a very fresh take on a suit jacket. I enjoy it. He looks like a waiter, but I like how they put that waist trainer on the outside of that shirt because that's been a trend with women that I've seen a lot. So I think it's cool that they caught that and put it in the show. I love the waist of that jacket. So. I don't, I don't like it. Then they have a long coat. I, I love a long jacket, long coat. But it's all black. Like, okay, now we have our shimmery bust thing. Oh, and so far, they, these are all boring. So there's this glittery flower sparkly top. It looks nice, but still all black. It, it's boring. And here's the random shorts. shorts mixed with that trench coat. I don't think that the person will wear it with no shirt, though, outside. Um, I love the see-through blazer. I mean, the see-through um, button-up. I think that's very sexy. It needs to be, like, a thing all the time. Um, are those underwear or shorts? It looks like both. So this is high quality, actually. Um, it's very hard to make shorts like that without them right. Now we have this beautiful black model in this white, well, light gray, um, saggy, furry coat thing, thing above. Yeah, it, it's cute. It's cute. Um, now we have more black like It looks great with more black like and lilac. With gloves. And I don't want to get this. So. At that award show, dressed like Miami Vice. I like the, the, the crop top for the man. That is dope. I like that. Um... I think that's very dope. The vest as a shirt, it's giving uh, a pheromone. So this shows very pheromony. That's a new word. It's giving pheromone. Um, Alpaca wine fur bag. Get that one. But okay, I do like this. Um, I'll pack the line. I don't know if it's Alpaca. I'll pack the line. I'll pack the line. Fur. Coat. I like that. I do like that. Okay, now we have a long sleeve black It looks like leather. Um, I guess it's supposed to be like a motorcycle jacket. Um, their interpretation of one. Eh. It's not... Given with book day. Uh, another, there's a beautiful black model with sunglasses and a low haircut. All black, kind of basic, um, suit. 
And now we're back to all black again. I don't black when you do all black, you, it has to be something exceptional. Like we have this other black model with the corset and the black monkey chicken. I don't understand the corset with these outfits. It doesn't go with it. Because I don't know who will wear this. They're inventing. It's inventive. It's giving Blade and his ops. But that is so amazing. Um, this trench coat with that hat. Um, yes, sir. I enjoy that. Now you've got my attention because that's Slade. Well, I used to have a shirt like that. Um, dare I say that this is inspired by some grandma type stuff because I got that shirt from a grandma section at a thrift store. That particular shirt right there. The um, see-through one. Hopefully this audio is on point. But that's neither here nor there. Um, we have uh, organza again. It looks like organza. Uh, button up. And the sleeves are like bellowed out. Mm. I'll wear it, but it's nothing exceptional. Now we have a naked model with some pants. Okay. Um, I really do like this black model with the gloves, this coat, and that necklace. It's very androgynous. Like, that looked like my mother's necklace. Or, like, an old gold digger <laughs> necklace. I like I like it on the black model. On the black model. On the black model. Um, but it's like, uh, we have another long black coat belted and uh, another lilac gray coat. Like, I like the lilac gray long sleeve coat. I like it. I really do like it. And this, okay, I like this lilac gray corseted silk ensemble. I will wear it. It kind of give. it looks like it's made a very high class. So far, um, it's giving, but it's not giving me what I want. Either way though, the quality is up there. I just might not be a fan of the trends. Um, I said that that would be big for accoutrements this season, the uh, jeweled flower looking thing. That type of accoutrement, <laughs> uh, that type of accessory, I've seen a lot in the runways with the um, kind of almost tacky flower accessories and they like boldly stick up off of sort of plain outfits. Very tackily, but they look awesome. Yes. I like the material of that thing he had on. I think that's a very cool outfit. It's giving, it's giving like, uh, lounging around the house with a lot of money. Um. But, you know. Yeah, but now it's gotten kind of boring again. Uh, uh, uh. Um, okay. So, we going back to Grit. We got oversized. I don't like coats that not kill. I don't like when they look like they're too big. When you can tell it should be tailored. I don't like that. Style. Um. Okay, now we are back to the gray. This is like the fur coat open full fur. Uh, gray again. No shirt on this white model. Blonde blue eyes. Rosy lip. Um, I mean, I might wear it. Uh, now we have, it looks like a knitted top with uh, a spar. Yeah. Behind that is the like Louis Gray on this Asian model. 
with a pinstripe pants. I like so the top. I probably like the pants with the nose, though. Now we have a full length, well, two coats, one full length, one front bed, like knee level front seat. Of these garments, as in driving it says they are, it's still very well cut for their male bodies. Those pants are giving. That shirt is giving apocalypse, though. Ooh, I love those pants. If anything was worth it, this entire show is those pants. I swear. Um, I wonder if they're gonna go Space Jam. And by Space Jam, I mean Space Astronaut. I like those glasses a lot. They were, um, different, so I didn't notice them at first, but, yeah. Very shiny, with good quality material and reflectors. I always love a glove. I think it's very classy, and it's something that a lot of people don't do. So it's always cute to have a good taste in glove. There's nothing wrong with having a good taste in glove. Just don't eat with them on. <laughs> So the hair is a clue to who these clothes are for. The Superman of the world. I'm, I'm falling in love with this cliff jacket for these men, and so I'm assuming that we're going to see that a lot. Um, when, when the time cycle happens, when it comes from the runway to getting into the shelves, so it might be about six years, but we're going to see that wasted suit for men. I can see it already. Classic good outfit, nothing wrong with it, period. Looking like genuine. Now there's the uh, utility vest on another Asian model. I, I feel like it. I like it. I like it. I, I do. Again, not revolutionary, but I like it. Uh, what is this? Like, it's a, uh, a tattoo. Two satchels on this all black outfit. Uh, I mean, like 2.5 out of 10, I guess. Uh, okay, I like the pants and the full length outfit on that guy, but I mean, Okay, and here's like a netted, a thicker net, netted um, sweater. I would, not, uh, I would get that. And then here's a short, a long sleeve short fur jacket on that model of braids. I, I probably would get that too. Um, and now here's a corporate banker. Here's the finance advisor. Okay, now this dude with the single eyes looks like he is pretending to be in. Especially when it comes to black garments. Oh, I love that. Um, the the flavors and the fabrics. It's like leather and what is that called? That material, bare fur. I don't know. But um, I love when you can really switch up a lot of black and white and make it very different because it's such a bland color pairing but it can be so beautiful how you can maneuver to make it so many different styles i am in love with that outfit with the page boy hat that just walked by i mean it was just a perfect outfit and here we are with the jumpers for the men i think that's going to become a trend and i like it that cape is a good one um that's a pretty cool trench coat. I'm not a fan of it, but with the collection, it makes sense. But if I had only seen that trench coat, I don't know if I would like it. But I do love how they put it with the gloves. Um, that's a good outfit with those shorts. Um, I like that outfit better. Um, the shorter kind of leathery jacket. His cape is what I was mentioning earlier. This shorts outfit is perfect. It looks very warm. I'm gonna leave that for the menzos, but um, it looks very warm. And these are the 
vampires that are helping the leader oppose uh, Blade and they're making their entrance into the fighting quarters so that they can prepare to fight Blade for the honor. That outfit is definitely talking and I like what it's saying. That's a sexy outfit. And now we have like a, a shirtless phone with like a fringe skirt pants type of thing. What season are we in? Okay, behind that model, we have a. Uh, no, there's another black one behind that. In like a cape, cow, crop top that I wear. Now, this is the model is the one that you see here. Embroidered, sparkly top. Again, I will wear it. Like, I like a lot of these sparkly looks because they're, in they're interesting. I don't know if my screen is as messed up, but I feel like there's some type of pattern to it too. See, the weird thing is now that it feels like we're on a loop and a lot of these garments are bleeding into each other and they look the same. Um, okay, this is white. jacket for men the flare one is cool i'm just not sure if i like it but i like the coolness of it it's very very cool okay and we're wrapping up so what i would like to say is that they gave a show they gave attention to detail they gave quality but i don't know if they gave what i expected and i don't know if i necessarily like what i saw it gave, but I'm not sure to who and for what. But having said that, I enjoyed the choices that were made, and I enjoyed the fact that they made choices and didn't just do it bland. I really, you know, I noticed. But at the same time, did they jock Balenciaga when it comes to those suits, or is that suit just floating in the ethos? I'll never know. Bravo. 